Uh, are you there? Hello? Hello? Your, oh, your uh, video's not. Right. How are you doing? Uh, genuinely tired. <laughs> me? I'm, me too. I'm fucking exhausted. Yeah. Oh, God. Glad you said that. Yeah. Well, I'm not glad because I wish you weren't tired. Well, we're all going to be tired. Well, <laughs> just because it's later in the day that we're recording it. Mm. God, it's pasty. Let's get some I, th- nice... I think it's the bulb rather than you. Yeah. A very bright bulb. We've got... Um, we're at, I'm absolutely loving those bulbs. You've got a nice light on your face. Thanks. It's just you one have. Spot, it's in one spot. What so light is it? What, what are you using? Bog standard desk lamp that's pointing down, so the reflection's bouncing off the white table and so it's catching me nice. Yours is like a blue light. <laughs> We've got one of the biggest stars in the world coming on <laughs> and we're exhausted. <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah. He is one of the biggest stars in the world. Here he is. And we're both he knackered. Here he is, man of the moment. Oh. Come on. Hey, here he is. Yeah. Look at well, that. well done. <laughs> How do you feel? Congrats, you've landed the big boy. Well done. <laughs> yeah, we better go up the fucking charts after this. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Yeah, good. Are you, you comfortable? Well, the chair's a bit squeaky. <laughs> no, I mean in our company. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, it's a it's a shame that this isn't visual, is it? This is just audio when you put it out. We can pop out the video if you want. Well, I'd rather we'll not, you. but I just think yeah, it's a yeah. shame. <laughs> when I'm not on it, I think people should be clear what you look like. You, you look like... <laughs> Because I remember you you, um, <laughs> you tweeted a little picture of you just before Christmas when sort of, I think Joe had a few Christmas decorations and David didn't, and it was a, a screenshot of you two. And as I was scrolling down Twitter, I thought that was an article about taxpayers' money going to parties <laughs> in a pedo wing somewhere. <laughs> and then I looked yeah. away, oh no, I know those two. That, in fact, that, I'm good friends <laughs> With those two, I thought I looked. I thought I looked all right. Well, the thing is, and also you think, oh, look, let's just put up the audio, so you know they don't know what we look like, so it's not off putting. But you actually sound <laughs> ugly and like you smell. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 you. yeah. You do. You sm- I, I hear your voices, yeah. and I think, oh, they. If I didn't know you, I think they stink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all my confidence is gone. You didn't have any. No, true. Neither of you had any <laughs> I think confidence. I, do, uh, uh, I think I do smell today. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I tweeted a picture of Gittins today and said, you can almost smell him. And, uh, <laughs> it, yeah. Look at uh, now, I've got a personal trainer coming. Really? Yeah. Good. Good. You're going to break him, aren't you? No, the thing is, you've always been, you've always been quite sporty, haven't you? And then you just sort of like gave up cricket and that was yeah. the... I played basketball for the school. Did you? Did yeah. You? When did you yeah. start panicking? I think I think I can remember the tag, right? It was the the Derek Christmas special, and uh, Kev was in sort of... Well, panicking uh, about my body? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you were involved. I was involved, <laughs> right. right. You were the trigger. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, a, cam- it was a, a camera angle that, I mean, you meant to look shit, obviously, right? And, uh, and it was perspective, and he had a big old... Nan's arm, right? The perspective, it was just a big <laughs> yeah. white what ham David hop. had. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he looked like and he, good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, he, he looked at the monitor and I, he, was, he was crushed. He was crestfallen. And he stopped eating bread for a, a couple of months, didn't you? I think that was like 18 months between the second series and the Christmas special. Yeah. So... It, Mm. And you'd stop playing cricket, and you you do it your ankle or something, and you you popped on the pounds. <laughs> I did. I, I uh, yeah. That, that, you lasted longer than me though, because I got fat at about thirty two. I reckon. I, I my thirties were my eating years. I think I. But was, you got sexy around forty seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for for well, not sexy, but I got thinner for about a minute. <laughs> I got I'd it. love to get sex. You, you got many... barrel chested for a while, if I remember. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> David. Do you, um, do you remember in the read through? Yeah. For uh, uh, Afterlife Three. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, yeah. right. And uh, <laughs> uh, you, we were all there, right? And I went over to Joe and I went, "Oh God, have you lost weight?" 
uh, I, I said, you, you, you look great, you've lost weight, right? And, and, and Joe went, Joe went, have I? I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then David, across the room, right, in a different conversation, yeah. pulled his little mask down and went, sorry, did he just pretend not to know that he'd lost weight? And then it was all off, wasn't it? And then it was yeah. the whole... Why did you do that, Joe? <laughs> Oh, I genuinely can't go through this again. It's... No, just je- like, I was just. What? Well, why did I? Why did I? Tr- why would any? Why are you trying to lose weight at the moment? To yeah, have to a look nice sexy. Day? Yeah, exactly. What I did. <laughs> just say yeah. I'm trying to look sexy. Everyone. <laughs> well, no, you... <laughs> it's I, it, that. Fucking hell okay. fire. That this is... is going on for two. Well, when I joined, because I was getting loads of shit for you, but then, then I joined. Um, the when, first day on Afterlife, and uh, three or four walking to to set, three or four people came up to me and said, um, "David said you're trying to lose weight because you've got to take your top off." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's and, what and I heard. On a there different was... show, on a different show, yeah, I'd like it was, to point out. wasn't it? Um, and I was like, "What?" Didn't you have to go on the beach in uh, uh, cocktails yeah, so, or something? So, so Dave, we mm. we were. This is what happened. Mm. Like we were just chatting like this, and suddenly David went, "I know why you're losing weight." <laughs> just out the floor. We weren't even. We were. We weren't even talking about it. We were just talking right. about something else, and it was it's obviously great. rattling around his head. He yeah. said, "Because he said, because you got to take your top off in that beach scene, which was about mm. seven months away." Yeah, we're all tied in though. All the time. No, well, it didn't tie in. You tied it in. <laughs> Well, it's a huge I remember, fucking difference. If you've seen, if you've seen that documentary, is it Pumping Iron with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He misses his dad's funeral because he's got a he's got a show in six months. So I think <laughs> why? What do you mean? Why, why, it, why didn't he go? Because he, he missed a training day. Yeah, he couldn't miss a yeah. training day. Yeah, we're um, very similar in that. So that's yeah. what Joe was thinking. He was thinking this is so such a load of bollocks. It really well, annoys because it I, got I, such I, momentum. It got and then. You made it weirder, but on the day that I had to t- take my top off, you just mm. didn't just didn't say anything. So I had it yeah, in my back good. of my head going. That's clever. I, I, that's I, really. Yeah, that's well, exactly was, yeah, the right really way clever. to play it. Yeah, that's his play, it, the play right. it seriously, like no mucking around. So that really <laughs> spooks you. Yeah, exactly. So. It's like it's like it's like when a when a group of mates are playing pool and they're mucking around. Then one of them does a really good shot. He doesn't muck around. He he yeah. he, look, he goes to the next <laughs> shot like he meant. To do it, that's exactly yeah. the way to play it. Because yeah. on the day when you took your top off, I didn't want you to think about your body and taking your top off. Well, no. you'd been talking about it for about 13 months. I was looking at your body a lot. It was a... <laughs> so, <laughs> Joe, Joe, it was a... yeah. yeah. When, um, so, uh, how, how, how heavy were you at your heaviest then? Oh, my hev- I have heaviest yeah. about six, 16 stones. Someone, someone wow. showed a picture of you from two years ago wearing a T-shirt. And you look pretty heavy. Yeah, but the thing is, right? Uh, you could you could you could carry that. I didn't ever think. Oh my God, Joe's a big. No, fat I bloke. never did. No, never. and also when you've how much have you lost? Three stone, four uh, stone. I'm um, about thirteen and a half now. See, so, you know, see, it doesn't. Again, you did. It, it, obviously, you are fit, and you've got to take your shirt off to show it because the beard and the hat and everything hides it all. So you, you so you're saying it's fucking pointless. Well, basically. to me, you still look like a bit like giant haystacks, <laughs> right? And I don't think of what your size. It's what it, it's the the beard is, all the, is, the other the, problems. The beard, the glasses. <laughs> you might as, what I'm saying fucking is, you hell, might as well get this. fat. You might yeah, as well I get need, fat. Yeah, I know. I'm feeling that. I'm gonna. I think it's just it just need to. <laughs> Say you want to look nice, and then. <laughs> you know, right. Right, but why do I have to say it out loud? Why not? Look? Though we're two mates. We're two mates. We're trying to help you, right? No, yeah, no like one's it. no one's listening, right? <laughs> so yeah, why don't you just say, David, Ricky, I'm I could be a good looking guy. I'm. What are you? Six foot one, two, six, six one, I think. Wow, you could be like that. You could look like that, Jason Momoa, if you really put in the. Well, if I put in the, do you know what that actually affected me? I, I, in my head, I went, "Could I really?" And I never, <laughs> <laughs> and then, but like for half a second, then I went, of course I fucking couldn't. But no. for a minute, I was like, I got "What did he through from someone? I think it was an Afterlife fan just saying that you were hot." <laughs> anyway, I don't this, keep talking. No, about it's not. It's not fair because let, let's be no, honest. It's not fair. Yeah. It's not. Fair. <laughs> no, because let's be honest, David. We we are not. We're not hunks, are we? We're not. I'm horrible to look at <laughs> when I've like in the mirror in the bathroom. Yeah, 
Is that I look like... I don't know what I look like. I, I, Can I tell you a secret? What? <laughs> it's nothing major, but I was in the hotel room on Sunday and I had an all like a floor to ceiling mirror yeah. and I was having a shower and I just had a little look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was horrible. I, I, I always think I look like I look like some sort of fat old gangster who went to prison about 40 years ago. <laughs> you do. But do you know what I mean? And then I've yeah. come out and it's the, the world has changed. I'm not Mr. Big anymore. I, you know, I'm, do, I'm doing our job. Exactly the character in yeah. the film. Yeah. He comes back after 15 years away. Yeah. And he's, oh my God, you are. And now he's sort of, hell. he's collecting a little bit and he's, he's, yeah. you know, he's still Fuck. got his knuckle duster, but <laughs> it, you know, he doesn't, yeah. he, he still and looks it, and, and he's, he still thinks he can pull the level of, Bird that he could 15 years ago. He clearly <laughs> fucking can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Well, I, because I, I, I'm in my 40s, I still feel like I've got five years where if I put the good work in, I can get. When you say you're in your 40s, how old are you then? I thought, I thought you were, I didn't, I didn't think well, you were. 48 in, in a month. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you were already in your 40s. Um, yeah, 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 hanging uh, on for dear life. You're, yeah. Are you younger than Joe? Are you younger than David? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm 47 in a month. 47, okay, yeah. 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 Um, no, no, you know, it doesn't matter what you're, you, you don't, you don't look good for your age or, or <laughs> whatever, whatever number I said. Whatever yeah. age you are. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, this is a kick in, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not, because no. you look damn hot. No, but think it, When you turn but, this zoom but this, look, look, look at this, right? Look look at me, right? And think... Oh, what? Yeah, exactly. This is, this is 60. This is, this is... What's that like? Well, I look back, and I think when I was 47, whatever you are, I was thinking... Yeah. I look back now and think, Fucking hell. I wish I was yeah. 47. I wish I was... It seemed like I was in my prime. You know what I mean? Wow. The relative. It's all relative. That's so, depressing. Yeah. Yeah. But does it ache more? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fat... I wake up... <laughs> a blo- I wake up aching. I've, I've got to be careful when I get out of bed because I could pull <laughs> my back. Right? So I've got, I've, I've got to remember... Uh, the, uh, uh, I, I'll get, I've got to get out carefully. I've got to put my feet on the floor and I've got to bend my knees to put my socks on. Right, I've got to remember all this shit. Getting out the bath now. I do this when I get out of the bath, right? I put my as I I get up in the bath like on my sort of like knees and I go, Whoa! And then I have to swing my leg over. I, I splash everywhere because I can't afford to do anything. I've got to, I've got to think of all my positioning. Um, yeah. Impressing. Yeah. Do you remember when you had that frozen shoulder? Yeah, I had the frozen shoulder. Been through that. Was worst. That the was the frozen worst. Frozen shoulder. Worst. That was. It's that, called fifty yeah. year old shoulder. So it all started going pear shaped at fifty, <laughs> and that was the worst I've ever had. At the, at the agony. I'd wake up screaming. But you know, I'm all over that now. Now I've got something wrong with my toe. I have to wear like a little spongy thing because it hurts. Like a gout or something. No, I don't. I don't know what it is. It might be. It Between could, a spongy thing. Like, like a little, little toe, toe bra. Sock. I have to put that on. <laughs> right? And when you've got a bad back, so I've got to put that on and then putting, <laughs> then putting my sock on without sort of ruining that. But I'm out of breath. I'm putting my socks on. I am out of breath. Right? I've just had a fucking bath. I've just got out of the bath. First thing yeah, I have to do is put on this fucking toe bra. Get this... Because uh, <laughs> I have to I have to sit on this thing, pull my foot towards me, get that in place, and then carefully... <sighs> And I'm holding my breath, right? That, so uh, when I put my socks on, I go, fucking hell, thank fuck that is over. I don't wear pants when I, unless I really have to because they take a while to hook over. No, I don't. No, there's no, no point. Are you, pants wear, on. are you two wearing pants at the moment? I've got my gym jams on. Yeah, I've got, got, I got my gym jams on as well. Yeah, hoodie. Yeah, I've got my yeah. I'll just back. Pants. <laughs> there's not a day. I just... We've all got our gym jams. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's not yeah, a day. Yeah, exactly. There we go. There's not a day goes by when I, I I'm having a little nap and I'm either dreaming I'm having a heart attack or a stroke <laughs> or I get pins and needles and I check my honestly and then I go, I go this could be it. Yeah. I, go, I go I go Jane. I need an aspirin. I've heard that kind of stuff, right? Then I check my heart rate, and she goes, "That's really good." I go, "Is it right?" Um, so uh, yeah. Jane's a lucky girl, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> did I tell you? Did I tell you when it all when the back the, the back first went? No. So it was. Uh, uh, we didn't have any money, but um, uh, it was about probably about thirty five years ago. I think it was the last holiday we had. We saved up and we got a week in Italy, and it was a little hotel, but it had a tennis court, and I loved tennis. I was already fat. I was already fat, right? But I was still pretty good at tennis, right? And I was playing the coach, and I was showing off. I was trying to win. 
And I did this thing and my back went, never before. Apparently I pulled a vertebrae apart for a split second and it went back and all, and it was like, I'd never, I was screaming. I was screaming. People were looking. I was, I was arched. I was, there's no, they carried me to the hotel room, right? Put me on the floor. This woman, she wasn't a nurse or a doctor. She, I think she was a receptionist, injected me in the arse with summer. I didn't argue. <laughs> I was in such pain. Oh yeah, go on. Fuck it. Yeah. Whatever it is. Right. I was on the, I was at agony. I couldn't sleep. Uh, I'll take, trying to get painkillers. Right. I was on the floor for about three days before I could even walk around. And then I was lopsided. I was like the fucking elephant man. <laughs> right. Um, and what I was doing was, uh, I was drinking beer at the mini bar. Right. And then weeing in the empty bottle. <laughs> oh yeah. Toilet, yeah. Right. Oh, and geez, at one point, what? and Jane was emptying for me, getting me another one. Fucking at one point, hell, she's been for yeah, fucking ring, at one point she? she went, can I leave that a minute? I went, why? She went, it's still warm. Right? So that was her holiday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've had like three or four Fuck. saucepans around me and yeah. Mm. Did you yeah, your back though? Because you're loads. Is that yeah, is that your gave up football? Is that your weight though? Or just, have you done some up? Because apparently weight does it. If you lose weight, you get a better back because it's like Do you? Yeah, the way I, you when stand. I go out running, I just feel like I'm carrying a big old I give up now straight away. Rucksack. As soon as as soon as it my foot hits the floor, there's a shock that goes ankle, knee, back, <laughs> right? Headache. Right? I go, fuck it, I'm walking. And I walk. Cause the yeah. cause the uh, Joe's doing a marathon in street. No, he's not. Yeah. Bet you're fucking awesome. Oh man. my god, you are honestly, you are but, the new you are the new Jimmy Savile. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely thought you were gonna say something nice then. Was, was it like, the new what? Jimmy Savile. <laughs> 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 Why did I repeat that? For a <laughs> That's amazing. You're doing that. It is I amazing. It what's I driving it? I want to get to the. What's driving it? Well, the, um, the po- po- bucket. This thing. He really. wants to look. He wants to look good. He wants to look sexy. He wants to feel good about himself. <laughs> he wants to. He wa- I'm running a marathon to look sexy. There yeah. you go. Right. He wants to, now. He wants what to do that fuck? marathon. Come home with his little medal. Get naked, stand in front of the mirror with that medal on, right? And he, and he will say, well done, Joe. Well yeah. done, mate. Now let's put it all yeah. back on. I yeah. don't think you ever will now. <laughs> well, you I don't put not. it back on. You will. You wear fat blokes, really. <laughs> yeah. We had our time. We had I our can time. I put it on yeah. like that. Oh, how, no, we haven't. How quickly... <laughs> I've got a question for you. <laughs> Hang on, son. How quickly do you reckon you can put a stone on? If you had to. How how quick do you reckon you could do it? I reckon two weeks I could put a stone on if I went. For yeah, it. I think. What what is? What's the worst thing to eat? It's probably ice it's, cr- ice cream. I is think, it carbs or fat? I mean, fat gets to be more. I read that when actors have to put weight on, yeah, they uh, they eat ice cream quite solidly. I wouldn't do either. I wouldn't do either for a role. I wouldn't lose weight or put on weight for a role. I I, I would I, you travel? Uh would you travel? I don't. I, I, <laughs> no, no. I would. I, I, didn't, I didn't change my accent or my hair, so I'm not going to start changing my diet, well, am I? Like, oh, I noticed on on Afterlife and stuff, you turn up in your trousers, like trousers and uh, shoes that you were going to be in character in anyway, and yeah. like just a t-shirt. You yeah, I either I either times. choose things that I can keep after, or often I have said I might as well wear this. Photo shoots. There's like there's a rail of things, and I go. I just thought this. And that's why I'm usually they, they might get a, yeah. they, they might get me to put a coat on over the top of my own clothes. I can't be bothered to get changed. I can't bother. That's why I don't go to the gym. I can't be bothered. I, I've got a gym at the end of my street. I can walk there and walk straight back home again. But that's why I don't go to the doctor. I can't be bothered to call up. If I had a doctor in the if I had a little doctor in the basement, I'd be down there every day going, "What's this? What's this?" <laughs> but as soon as I think oh, I'm going to die, Imagine that. And part. Jane goes, "You've got to call the doctor." I go, "Fuck it. I'm not doing that. I'm not fucking calling." <laughs> someone i'm not gonna get the phone out find a number and call someone that is i just want uh, i don't want any admin in you my a day bell a little bell you can ring and some poor bastard has to check you out yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah Why so is this clicking yeah yeah are you worried about um i mean apart from uh, obviously the, the the big ones are still there you know still worried about heart stroke mm-hmm. cancer all that um uh, are you worried about all those things? Uh, David, is aren't I'm you? I'm worried about um, yeah. multiple sclerosis right. and 
a motor neuron disease. Yeah, that's getting... Because... Yeah, I know. No, I'm not going to say it. No, no, I know. Well, don't it, listen... Put, don't need to put well, this out. I'm a, I'm a hypochondriac, <laughs> so that, no, no. it's not me trying to be sort of, like, dark. I do think... No. I do Please think... Ju- it'd be... A, it'd be a, I think... You know what I think? I think it'd be a terrible waste... <laughs> Wouldn't it? What of me? No, if if I died. No, not you. Richard. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no hesitation, Richard. No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is is Jane? Is Jane? Obviously, I assume Jane has to obviously put up with this. But yeah. with your hypochondria, does yeah. she just get on with it, or does she ignore you? Well, because I mean, she can't win because either it. If, if if she thinks there's some, if I, if it's genuine, obviously she's worried. She can't go. Don't worry about it, which is what I want to hear. So she'll say the mildest thing, like, "Well, if you're worried about it, go to the doctor." And I go, yeah, "What do you think it is, cancer?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that's not right. You want, yeah, yeah. You want but she, to go, it's not that because of this. What she does is look at Google God. without telling me and gives me the good news. <sighs> but she goes, right, I think I go, yeah, you're right. Because if I look at Google, if I go, I go there's, a, there's a pain in my side. The first five are, oh, that's good, indigestion. Yeah, oh, I did, I did work out. To, oh, I have changed my diet. I go, oh, great, <laughs> leave it there. Number five, cancer. <laughs> if I scroll down too much, it doesn't matter if it's a rare disease. If it says like you know, one percent of the population uh, uh, can be bitten by this small <laughs> insect that only lives in Africa, and I go, right. I think I met someone who'd just come back from Africa. It's that fly. I've been bitten by that fucking fly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We got sent a um, What's that? gossip in to Gossip Mongers. Oh, yeah. Do you remember? Which one? Where he was having sex with his wife. Oh, bloody hell, recently. The, yeah, go on. Tell Ricky, go on. Go on. And uh, I can't... I, I think he just felt like an irritation down there. and He went for a pee. He went for a piss. They just had they just had uh, intercourse, and he went for a pee. Right. And all these was it ants? Ants. Ants Started came out of his willy. Why were they? Did that like they, everywhere? Why did they get up there? Well, they, Be, because he had been somewhere, and they apparently had laid a, an egg inside his. Uh, I thought you were going to say he got his what? There was a nest. She had them in his. Well, she had them in scre- his then what? he heard screaming, and she came. He came back into the bedroom, and they were. They All coming out of her. Hold on. So, a... where did they come from in the first place? Did he? Did, were they? Were they nesting in her? Some or... tube. <laughs> Do we know? The shaft. They, they were nesting in, the shaft. in him. They They're came in out of shaft. him into her. Right. And, and they, they, they came like... out via Why the stream. Why were they nesting? Why would an ant live up a knob? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Do you know what? Rick, Why would a fucking this? ant? You're Why the Aunt Willie story with your with your no, common sense? No, it's true. <laughs> but what? No, I don't. I don't mean it's not true. I'm getting. I'm, you know, I'm getting all Latin bro here. Why the fuck would an ant live up a cock? Uh, what, is it, what is it thinking? Why would it live up there? Why would it? Why would it? What's the point? Well, let's, let's work out why you'd want to live up a knob. Hold on, though. Ha, so do they, get, do they get a choice? To, no, to but no, but wait a minute. Uh, so, so uh, it, were you sure it was ants and not some sort of parasite? Uh, well, it might have been a parasite. He just, I think, for ease of story, he said <laughs> ease ants. of emails. <laughs> yeah. I think I can, I'm going to lose a lot of respect for ants. I can, I can see there's some fucking parasite, but if, if that's true, then I've lost a lot of respect for ants. But there were loads of ants. Have you loads heard that? There's those. In, there's one which <coughs> climbs up your piss. Have you heard about yeah, that? Yeah, the, the little yeah. fish. The little fish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's well, they some, always break there's, the stream. There's some, there's some amazing parasites out there because they often have to get into a warm blood animal to complete their life cycle. So there's there's one parasite, right, that uh, gets in a, a in a stickleback, and usually a stickleback will flee the the shadow of a heron, right. But this parasite changes the stickleback's behaviour so it doesn't flee the shadow. So the heron eats it and then it can complete its life cycle. How mental is that? How amazing is that? Mm. I know. But these ants, I'm disappointed because I thought... Well, well, they're not as sophisticated as that one. I'll give you that. They're not knobs. Right, I don't, I, I've never heard that before. And was it, do you think he was telling the whole story? Do you think that he'd we been put... We do get a lot of bollocks. Do you think, <laughs> do you think yeah, yeah, yeah. he had been put in his willy where it shouldn't be? What, in an ant's nest? In an ant's nest is my... That, that would be... Why, sh- why shouldn't you put your knob in an ant's nest? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Open really? your what? bloody mind, Ricky. Yeah. It's 2022, yeah. mate. Fucking do what we want. Imagine that's, that, like. that's amazing. Yeah, there's some horrible stories about that. When I was about um, uh, 13 or 14, I had a little toad. I kept a toad in my bedroom. I made a little vivarium <laughs> out of uh, an old window, right? Um, and I kept a toad in there, right? I'd seen one at the museum. They had a little toad in the Reading Museum. It was just a toad sitting there. I thought, I'll have that. Right. Uh, it's cruel. In retrospect, it's cruel. I kept this. What, little... you nicked it? No. Was I... Oh, I thought you nicked <laughs> no, no. it. I found my <laughs> right, own toad. Okay. And be... uh, not, right, yeah, own, yeah. not that anyone owns yeah. toads. They're wild. Yeah. You don't own them. <laughs> right? yeah. It was yeah. a common toad. It was by the pond. I thought, oh, I'll keep that little vivarium, right? I made it a little house and everything, right? And I kept it there for about a year, I think. And uh, I'd, every night before bed, I'd go out and I'd find a little wood louse and I'd go up and feed it, right? This and then one night I couldn't find a wood louse or a worm. It was dark, I left it too late. But I found a centipede, right? And I went up there with a centipede and it wriggled out and it got away. And I'd remembered a story where a centipede had laid its eggs in this little girl's head and they came out of her ear and she died, right? And I slept with a light on for about <laughs> six because I knew they didn't like the light. So I just, I thought that centipede is aiming for my ear now. That yeah. centipede is going to end up in my ear, right? So yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I find that more depressing than you pissing in bottles. <laughs> 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 oh my mum didn't like it my mum I was just always good natured. she was just trying to put me off and she was scared of worms so she'd go don't bring worms when I was little don't bring worms into the house because they, they die so she'd try and she uh, I, I used to put she wanted a little fish pond a little um, a picturesque fish pond right goldfish a little windmill a gnome right I'd go out and I'd find fucking frog spawn toad spawn and she hated it and she'd say things like oh they're they're um, ruining the pond, right? Um, they're killing the fish. Well, they're killing the fish. The fish were loving it. They were eating the little eggs, right? Um, and then uh, one day we found a, a hedgehog in the pond, and it had drowned. And I was, I was, I was gutted. I was so sad. And my mum said, probably diving for them tadpoles. So <laughs> she, pro she tried to make me feel guilty. Like, <laughs> what is this work, job? You're telling it 40 <laughs> years later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Diving, <laughs> from the diving for them tadpoles. <laughs> hasn't, that, hasn't affected you in any way, has it? <laughs> Do you know what my mum told me once, right? I must have been about, I don't know, seven or eight. And uh, there must have been some sort of local paedophile, right? <laughs> and she went, she said to me, she said, don't go in the public toilets in the park anymore. And I went, why not? She, obviously, she couldn't explain why not. So she, this was this was her alternative. This was what she wanted to keep me out of there, but she didn't want to explain paedophilia. So she went, um, "There's a man going round who cuts off little boys' willies." <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she made it worse. And yeah. I didn't go in there though. I didn't go in there. <laughs> oh, okay, now I know. Uh, um, before you came on, Ricky, yeah. Joe said. Fucking hell, he's one of the biggest stars in the world. Mm. Yeah, we were too knackered. To, we <laughs> no, were, but we were my mighty. thought is... <laughs> um, what's my thought? What's that like? <laughs> uh, well, it's different, isn't it? It's not like... Yeah. It's different. Um, yeah. I remember when you did The Office, and I remember seeing a... I don't know if it was in the news, but you were in a, some limo. Going to the Golden Globes, were you? Oh, oh yeah. was that the clip on the way to... Yeah, I remember that, yeah. And I just... Because I wanted to do comedy, I was just like, flipping hell, what is that like? Because it was just caught a light. What, what you didn't know, I think if that was the first time I went to the Golden Globes, I remember... We went, Did it all happen really quickly? Yeah, just suddenly we went or, over... Yeah. Me and Jane went over like the day before, right? To where, like, I, didn't even, I didn't even know it was a big thing, the Golden Globes. So it was about, what was it, 2000 and... Three? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. so I didn't think we'd win for a start. So we went over there. Uh, I, uh, I had a, a, a jacket from Marks and Spencers, right? I, went, I didn't have any shoes, so I bought those the day of the Golden Globes. We had to go shopping in LA the day of the Golden Globes, right? Got in the limo. It was about half two. I remember I hadn't eaten. So we stopped at a garage and got a, a massive bag of, uh, are they called Cheetos? Like, mm, yeah. Right? 
I was eating them. We got to the carpet, right? How do you make everything depressing? Yeah, right? <laughs> and, uh, well, they, and, they, and they said, oh, we're here, right? And all the people waiting. Jane went, look at your face. It was just an orange, <laughs> and my hands were orange, right? right? So I was sticking my hand in the ice bucket in this limo <laughs> and trying to wipe... Like the face before I got out to the red carpet. <laughs> and the first time someone said to me, who are you wearing? I went, what do you mean? Jane went, who's the suit? And I looked and I said, Marks and Spencer's. And they just, they went, they just. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe I'm... that sounded really cool in LA. Like, Marks and Spencer's. Yeah. But um, when, it all, when it all kicked off. Yeah. Was, did, did you have sort of time to go, wow. Or were you just like, oh, we're doing this now. We're going over there now. And... Uh. I, were, I, 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 could, I could do without it, I, honestly. I, even then, yeah. I, was already, I was already 40, so I was, you know, I'd already yeah. found my fucking favourite chair. I, could, I, <laughs> yeah. I think that's, I don't know. Because yeah. that, that clip you showed, I remember you sending me that clip, David, and saying, because you're on the way, and it's weird because it's like, it's probably like an hour and a half before everything changed forever. Do you, do you know what I mean? So you're in that limo. And what, going, within the Golden Globes? Yeah. yeah. Did, it, did it change everything? So though? it was like... I guess well, it did. Well, it sort of did because, um, you know, it's got a big global audience. So people... At the time, um, it was on BBC America. And I think it was the highest rated show on BBC America, The Office, right? One million. One million. Oh. All right? Uh, but I think people came to it then... And uh, there was already talk of the remake, so it. Uh, but it did, that week, that that I think I won those two Golden Globes on the Sunday. Was that oh, series one? Uh, uh, I think they had to conflate series one and two because it was. I think those days you needed seven eps for a right. series. So right, um, yeah. So uh, yeah, it was, it was the first way, the first time we won it. So the next day, I filmed. Uh, an episode of Alias because JJ Abrams liked it and was a fan. Right, I was only there for stressful. A week. Was that stressful? Yeah, I didn't know. I mean, I I, I still haven't watched it. I still haven't watched right. it. I was with him um, uh, day before yesterday. Actually, he, he popped over and we went to dinner. And he he he, he said I still haven't watched it. And he said oh, it was great. It was it's good. But I can't. I I was I couldn't see watch myself acting seriously. I played a terrorist and I just. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, let's not <laughs> yeah. even let's not even talk about it. Um, well, that's that's what we should dig into. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we're both going to Google. As soon as this ends, we're both yeah, Googling it. Yeah, I know you it. are. No, I know you are. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't. No. I couldn't. I couldn't look at me acting like a terrorist. Uh, it's, your inspe- it's your Inspector Lindley moment. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And then yeah. after I finished that, before I went home, I got a call um, invited down to the the, the Simpsons. And uh, I met all the what? the writers and everything, and Matt Grain was there. He did a little sketch for me, and uh, and he said, "So, do you want to do an episode?" Right? And I went, "Yeah, all right." And then he went, "Do you want to write it?" I went, "Yep." Yeah. And so that was the week. That was the, yeah. Things did sort of change, I suppose, that week. <laughs> that was the... Yeah, yeah. Previous week, you're pissing in bottles. Well, then... so I've th- I've told this story before, but you're like this. So after the first series went out I was sort of newly famous and I was invited to one of those VIP events at the BBC right and uh, David Bowie was performing right on this anyway so we're in the green room and then director general uh, Greg Dyke bounced over and said you're a huge Bowie fan aren't you I went yeah I've loved him for years he went do you want to meet him I went uh okay so me Jane Greg Dyke walking uh, he went, Salmon, Salmon Rushdie joined us, right? <laughs> so he went down, met David Bowie, he went, oh, hi. He said, did you enjoy the show? I went, yeah, it was great. He went, good, thank you, thank you. Uh, and, and that was it. He didn't know who I was. I'm sure he didn't know who I was, right? The next day I was in the, um, the pub and my mate went, what did you do last night? And I went, nothing. <laughs> went, nothing. Uh, what really am I going to say? What yeah, am I going to yeah. say? I was just like, a week later... I get an email from David Bowie. He can do that. He was David Bowie. And uh, it just said, the office, someone must have, he must have said, it was that little fat bloke, right? <laughs> With my teeth, right? <laughs> and I said, he did the office. He must have, he said, 
it said the office he said um i watched i laughed what do i do now and uh we sort of became that was it. pen pals yeah he wow. was a fan of the office yeah mad isn't it that was mad yeah it yeah. is when it all happens so quickly yeah it doesn't seem like that, though it just seemed like it just seemed like i took it all with a pinch of salt you know i don't i don't I don't, I, well, I remember when I won the first BAFTA, uh, won two BAFTAs, I was sitting at home, me and Jane, having a drink, two BAFTAs on the table, I was like 40, 41, and I went, why didn't I do this earlier? And Jane went, because you wouldn't have been any good. And yeah. that's exactly, that's exactly yeah. right, you know, I, I don't... You, yeah, I don't think you don't want to. You, do, you know, I don't think it, it's very different. I I feel sorry for people who are, are famous at eighteen. You know, because yeah. it's like you've got to. Um, uh, I think you've got to. You've got to know who you are before all that stuff happens. Otherwise, it just you'll pick up all the symptoms. It define you. You will never be a normal person. I think it's oh, like being born rich. You can never. You know. Mm. I feel I feel sorry for people who've, who've never had to work in their life. I genuinely feel sorry for them. Um, yeah. So, Who wrote Goodwill Hunting? Who wrote that? Um, it was the two. Uh, the ben two, Affleck wasn't it? Ben and and, um, and, and um, da- Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. Yeah. yeah, Matt Damon. I'm pretty sure I heard a story. Matt Damon won the Oscar for that, I think. Yeah. And he really. was in his twenties. And he was at a part, like an after party, with his an award. With, with his award and he went upstairs and had a piss put it on the system and he just looked at it and went I'm so glad I've won that young because it's just an award on a bog yeah <laughs> it's like I'm glad I'm not chasing that all my yeah. life now I can just relax oh and that's just very make that's feel. a very interesting yeah thing right have you heard um, Louis C.K.'s routine about Goodwill Hunting no um, where Matt Damon he gets the girl's telephone number and he puts it against the window and says do you like apples and the guy goes, yeah. And he goes, how do you like them apples? And Louis going, it relies on him saying yes to do you like apples. <laughs> he said the whole, the whole film relies on this guy. Do you like apples? Uh, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Do I, do, you, do I like what? Yeah. Do you like apples? Why? Yeah. Yeah. Why do Why do you, what? <laughs> Just say yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, I I'll forget it. That's funny. Oh god. <laughs> um, so is this is this what you normally do? Just chat like this, go anywhere? There's no there's no structure we should be doing. We, we, don't, don't, promote, we don't play a promote. game. There's no fast. We'll I did. Have, do you know what? I had one afterlife question. Yeah. Go on. Oh, you were going to do a quiz. Yeah, I know. And then I'll I knew you would be like, asked. He was going to do a even quiz. Even this, this is, I'm like, this is What pathetic. a quiz, just a, ge- oh, a normal shit. general knowledge quiz. <laughs> he was going to do an afterlife quiz to see if you know... The names of the crew. See if, no, no. So, <laughs> okay, we, <laughs> Who is this person? <laughs> <laughs> I've just spent four months this with is, them, I sorry. don't want to do it, it's crap. <laughs> oh, it's crap. Just ask Go me on. a question about afterlife. Okay, well, you know the bench that you sit on? Yeah. It's a question to both of you. Mm. Mm. What do you call them? Spindles behind mm. that you lean against? Yeah. What do you mean? How many of those are there on the bench? Oh, what well, the verticals? Yeah. Twenty-six. I count. Come them. on. Are they? I, I assume they're not vertical, are they? I assume they're horizontal, Sorry, aren't no, they? No, they're vertical. Oh, yeah. so yeah, oh. the slats. You meant twenty-six. Slats. Slats. You're not going to fit twenty-six. And oh, is it a long bench? I'd go, I, 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 I've got to get closer without going over. I'll go 25. <laughs> 21. Well done. 21. 21. Uh, That's yeah. the end of that. <laughs> That's quiz. the whole fucking quiz. You dickhead. <laughs> no. you absolutely... And you said you were going to do this about three weeks ago. And you've come I up know, with I know. I was like, oh, it's... How did you know that. it's... 20... Well, I counted it before you came on. I was like, what's that? Oh, you one, went to two? the show and... In fact, like... I had to guess some, so it wouldn't be on your back. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't actually know, so no. it could be 26. <laughs> You know that dog I knock around with in Afterlife? Yeah. Yeah. How many legs has it got? Mm. That's four. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to go. I'm going to go one less. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm like with filming locations? I get really excited. Are you? Why? What do you? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? Oh. What, if you recognise it or you just go in there for the No, day? I go in, I sort of go in search of them. What, like you did with Doc Martin, even though you haven't seen Doc it. Doc Martin... Uh, four weddings and a funeral. Um, but even... 
Like I've seen pictures of like our afterlife, like the house someone might have put up. Oh, I went down the road and there's the house where, oh, yeah. or there's the outside of the office. And I'm like, fucking hell, let's have a look. <laughs> and I've, I've literally filmed outside. <laughs> but I'm still You're... like, there we go. That's, that's Hemel Hempstead. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. It may, it, <laughs> looking at you, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> You're excited about looking at a set that you were on. For yeah. About a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in it. You're in it, David. You're you're one of the main characters. Yeah. You're one of the. I know, that, but would, I still... that would have been where Brian Gittins sat. <laughs> who oh, I am. Yeah. I wish I could be the actor who played Brian Gittins because I love that. Yeah, I so, love, love I love it. All. Well, it's gone down a storm, lads. It's gone yeah, down an absolute storm. Um, we should we should talk about that. There's, there's a snippet of the outtakes when um, spoilers when Brian asked to. Uh, Tony asked Brian to talk to Pat, the postman, to show oh, Pat yeah. that his life isn't that bad compared to Brian Gittins. And oh, then. Not Anus. Yeah. Fucking Unbelievable. Anus. How long did that day talk take? At one point, we were worried about sort of like um, just Get locals dark. with their children. Oh, I know, that's some the, the bit I said. Yeah. When that was brought up, I was like, oh, God, yeah. yeah. So there's lots I, of people with I prams. Remem- and- I remember someone. I remember. I remember David saying our noose quite a lot and a, a woman yeah. with a daughter just stood there and and I think I said I'm not comfortable about that and and but the, Oh did the, you bring it up? Oh what and we, they thought you were being all Tom Cruise as opposed well, to yeah. being a but, moral person. But, but I was like cuz David's going spin around stick in the in the noose again yeah. again and yeah. it was it was yeah. being said quite a lot and there was just a little girl about 5 I yeah. didn't see stood oh, there yeah. with mum. And I was yeah. like, why is the mother not taking her away? Like, David well, keeps think, saying anus. I think you can't hear because you're, no. you're outside, you're 20 yards away. Everyone's right. got headphones on, so we're hearing that. I'm at the monitor laughing. But if you're across the road, you can't hear the well, thing. It wasn't very off. far. It was... <laughs> It was it was it was close enough. You go. There's a good chance that child's hearing our noose. Yeah, but yeah. what's our noose? It'd be nothing to a six year old. No. It wasn't the only thing you were saying, though, was it? You were you were shouting, fed on a minge like a hot homity pie. Yeah, you I was were... celebrating it. More <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I want to talk about your. And I know this is your podcast, but what's your history, Joe? I don't think I've ever talked about it. Where did you come, where did, what did you do? You were, where, did you, where did you grow up? Where were you born? Uh, I grew up in Kent. I was uh, I was born in Farnborough Hospital in, no. in Alpington. Um, oh, yeah. I was uh, I worked as a graphic designer for years. I had no interest in it. Did and, you? Um, yeah. I I so uh, basically I was in I was doing a job that people would around me really enjoyed, and I had no interest. And I could feel. I could feel the disciplinary hearing coming. Right. You know what? You know when people are sort of they're into their job and yeah. you're not, and you're just going, right. I'm, "I'm living." And did you look like? Time. Did you look like this and act like this, like you, yourself? You were. You didn't yeah. put on any airs and graces. Did you shave? Were you do you clean shaven? No. Do you have no. a suit or anything? No. <laughs> just so you look. No. Right, well, you looked, so you looked homeless from what age? Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Yeah, from a young age. Yeah. So, so as soon as you could grow a beard, you looked like Got, someone that lived under a bridge. I'd say so, yes. Okay, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> and then what, and when did you, um, you're nervous talking about yourself, aren't you? I can tell, I can see by your body language that you're, <laughs> yeah, you're thinking, yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm chomping at the bit to jump in here. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Look at you two coming alive, picking, picking me to bits. <laughs> no, uh, when I first met, do you remember when I first met you, Joe, at the Gingling? Yeah, uh, I was this when I said how many gigs yeah, you Yeah, it's great. So Joe was emceeing. <laughs> Right. There's lots of like. So Tim what age you? Let me get. Okay, I'm salivating. Uh, right. We both start, I so started. What year at 29. is this? So what age were you? So I started at 29. 29. Yeah, I was 31. So 20 so years I'd, ago. 20. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't do the yeah, math. Yeah, 15, 18, 15, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 years ago. Right. Yeah, so yeah, about 17 years ago for me. Yeah. Okay, so 2000. So I was really nervous, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just signed with United Agents right. or whatever they were. Yeah. And um, I think this is one of sort of their sketch nights. Um, stand-up comedy and Tim Key was there I think maybe Anna and Katie and uh, Nick, Nick Mohammed, Mohammed, I think, yeah. Tom Allen maybe just uh, yeah. I didn't know anyone I felt like they all knew one another yeah. I'd just come in from driving a concrete lorry well because we've been gigging like six months so everyone knows each other basically yeah 
So yeah. I, I came in and I remember looking to my left as I was going to, the, and Joe was emceeing. What were you doing? Remember, what act were you doing? Grit at Gittins? Yeah. Yeah. But I was wearing a tux. Oh, anyway. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, I looked over and I saw Joe emceeing. I was like, oh, who's he? He's emceeing. He's sort of controlling the room pretty well. Mm. So that made me nervous and, and I was just sort of put my bag down. Da, da, da. And then in between... What was Joe doing? What sort of stuff was Joe doing? I can't remember. Off the wall flight to fancy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. He uh, got his hand. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, right. So he bought him on Axe, and he came, and we, and we sort of found ourselves sat next to one another, and, he's, and he said... Um, I must have said, oh, I've just started. And, da, da, da. <laughs> and he said, uh, I hate this. I really hate Oh, this. how long have you been gigging? And I, I said, oh, I've done 27 gigs. And he went, oh, right, you're still counting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's not fair, is it, Joe? That's not fair. Well, I don't think I would have said it like that. No. Little bit. <laughs> you might have exaggerated it over the years. <laughs> oh, well, oh, I felt that's... shit. I wouldn't, have meant to... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have meant to make you feel shit. Well, no. maybe I didn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all a power oh. game on these open nights. Did you, open did, you ever, nights. did you ever look at each other and go, oh, they're taking a bit of my thunder here. I do the, I do the sort of disgusting, filthy, smelly, homeless <laughs> loser. I don't ever sort of remember gigging with Joe, apart no. from then. Gittins, no, did no, Gittins no. have a big beard? He didn't, did he? You were, was, was he? He wasn't. He was, did he have a beard? Yeah, I don't know. We did. I got... We did, oh, like, ten years later, we did Outside the Box, I think, together. Yeah. I remember that. And then that's when we got chatting, I think. Yeah. That was the second time. I, that was, I, that, I don't think it was that night, but around that time I did. Hmm. I went on, and I didn't do that well. And then, <sighs> oh, I can't name him, but a famous comedian went on and went, <laughs> what's all that about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I I've had that. that. I've had that. Yeah, I'm allowed to bring down your confidence because I'm a mate, but I don't, <laughs> yeah, want, yeah. I don't want anyone <laughs> else taking the fucking not... piss out of you. <laughs> no, that, no. Is that, I draw the line there, mate. No, ooh, Where, did I tell you when I first did Open uh, Up the Creek? My third gig. No, go on. My first gig went sort of well. My second gig was embarrassing so my uncle came. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <I> was, <laughs> uncle Barry came and I was like, oh, well, I know Uncle Barry. No, that's God, too Barry. much. That's this too much. That's that's the I was getting God. all my props ready. Like, oh. I had to get changed oh. with the audience. And, oh. oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then I did Up the Creek. On the Sunday? That's my first, yeah, my oh, first two. Tough gig, that. First two gigs have gone all right and then. I didn't know what I was doing. I was pulling potatoes out of my bag and <laughs> I think it was funny and they just turned the lights off just slowly. They turned just, the lights oh, off? No. Yeah. What? I did, if yeah, I didn't I know, know did you, well. I think that was some sort of sort of metaphor, uh, a comedy saying I was pulling potatoes out of the bag. But no, you mean <laughs> that, that was the act. When that is, yeah. when that is literally think, as nuanced as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> pulling potatoes out of the bag does not mean saying good jokes. <laughs> How'd they go? It was fucking, honestly, he was fucking pulling potatoes out of the bag. Really? I've never seen anything like yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Left, right, and centre. Yeah, he was. Uh, oh, fucking hell! <laughs> he potatoes. was. He was. He was walking around with the mask on. Um, <laughs> but so I was. I was fumbling around. I had like three or four minutes that didn't work. That's all I had. And then suddenly, mm. and it mm. took. It took me a while. Obviously, the audience. <laughs> when you say you had happening. three or more, four minutes that didn't work, do you mean you did ten yeah. and three of them didn't work, or you only had three or four minutes? No, I only had work? three or four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I've only done two other gigs. It's two sure. gigs, yeah. So sure. that's not bad for two gigs, four minutes. So if you imagine, no, it's the third time I've been on stage with two hundred yeah. people. Yeah, and then. It just took me a fraction longer than the audience to realise the lights <laughs> were turning off. That's so they man. were sort of laughing. I think I was thinking, oh, they're laughing but at me, you, they're but, drawing But you can me. be in character there, can't you? you you're playing, yeah, but, I, yeah, but you're but, playing a character that's you can complain and be a loser. And Yeah, but it's my third gig. <laughs> so I was, I don't know, I was, I was like, oh, they're turning the lights off. Oh, oh. But in my head, I'm like, fucking hell, they're turning the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he brought the lights back on. I was like, oh, here we are again. I'm back again. <laughs> oh. Feeling terrible. And then he just shut them down again. No. Do you know yeah. who did it? Yeah, I know who did it all right. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> Is he alive? My first, I yeah. remember my first gig. Um, I'd, been, I'd done a bit of telly. I'd done uh, 
uh, 11 o'clock show a bit, I think. So uh, it was a, I went along, I think it was at the, uh, oh, what was it? Is it the Jon Snow? Oh, pub. yeah, that, yeah. Well, I know the pub, I didn't know I had a gig. There, there was a gig upstairs, right? And I'd, I'd known about that because sort of a year before I'd, I'd gone along to sort of see these sort of like new nights and acts and, you know. Do you remember seeing anyone you saw that was good? That, that wasn't famous at the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I sort of started, I sort of started around the time, oh, I don't know. Uh, um, We've spoken about people who... Jimmy Carr yeah. was just starting, and I think Robin Ince had already started. Uh, I can't really think, I saw so many acts, and I think most of them didn't carry on. You know what I mean? It was at that level. I was looking at new, I was oh, going right. to new material nights and stuff. Right. Oh, um, what's his name? Steve Brody was doing summer. Uh, Tom Binns. Uh, oh, yeah. These are just random names that I remember sort of being around. But yeah. uh, I didn't know Steve Brody did live. He, so. did, uh, he did a couple of, he did, he did, um, he did Peter Piper on the 11 o'clock show. And he used to, he used to do this thing where he used to brag and he'd go, uh, uh, I was uh, boxing the other day and that Muhammad Ali popped his head round and said, you should be a professional because, you know, he said, I float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Whereas you, you float like a boat, which is better in my opinion. And it was stuff like that. <laughs> it was just, it was just nonsense like that. Right. Yeah. And, uh, I went along, I plucked up courage. It was a Saturday night. I went to Jane, I'm going to do it. I, I got into a cab, right? I went to the pub. I went to the bloke, I said, oh, can I do um, five minutes? And he went, oh, and he, oh, so I was in the circuit. They just might have recognised me a bit. Mm, right. And he went, yeah, you can do five, right? I don't remember anyone else was on. I was all in the back we're having a pint. I think I had two pints before I went on. And he went, now you might have seen him on the 11 o'clock show. And they started looking <laughs> round, right? And I went up there. And there was a round of applause. They did. They were a comedy crowd. So they, they did watch that show. And I'd been on for a year and I did my bits and it went down well. So, oh, real, like, oh, yeah, TV comedian, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. He's going oh, to be amazing. This guy's going to be amazing. He takes no shit. He lays oh. down truth bombs. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I went up there. So three pints, first time. The lights hit me. I went, bloody hell, and it up. <laughs> right yeah. silence they yeah. thought well what's the joke because they thought that was a they think everything's a joke and i went yeah. no um no uh uh um anyone got the internet and uh, my first ever thing and it, it made it into animals was talking about uh internet facts and they're spurious like it was things like you can lead a cow upstairs but not down right and it was stuff like there's a way they're you know they're joints were, and my and my joke was things like come on daisy come down you come i can't go downstairs you are my wife's coming home in two minutes get that so it was all stuff like that so i'd you know and it was stuff like uh uh polar bears will often hide their black nose during a hunt right and i'd act it out and it was right and as i was doing it was going down it was a few titters right someone shouted do the pandas i'd done a routine on the 11 o'clock show about pandas because uh, they're not shagging and uh, and i went oh what well, the thing i did on they went yeah i went all right and i sort of did it and it was oh. i don't know why i did it i don't know why i did it <laughs> oh. i think it, yeah you're under pressure though aren't you just like <laughs> but it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't good enough to be terrible it was just oh, i was all right it was yeah, yeah. it was all right uh, what, do you remember how you felt afterwards sort of like that sort of i was kicking shit. myself i wanted to go back on and go no i know i know i know what i did wrong let me do that again <laughs> let me do that again but i felt like i felt that i disappointed them he shouldn't have oh. said the 11 o'clock show that was the worst thing yeah. it was that this guy's on the telly he's gonna be amazing you told me um once about a uh, an open mic spot that you saw oh die i put it in the office i put it in david Dave. oh did you yeah I put, I, 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 the the scene where david brent d does his jokes to the swindon lot is based on that so uh right so it was the it was like a, a heat of um um open mic uh, uh, a moose moose right and again i was a bit i was probably a bit further down the line so i, I could have done a 20 and um uh, and I was, I was there and, uh, this guy came up and he was about 
23, sort of nervous. He got up there, and there's, you know, there was about 50 oh. people there. And he went, and he was shaking, and I could, you could, I could see him shaking from the back of the room. And I just wanted to, I just, I wanted to hug him and go, "You don't have to do this, mate. What, do you yeah, want some money? Do you need do some money? Do you want some money? Here's some money. Go home, right?" I really felt, I just wanted him to do so well, and he was shaking like that, and uh, he was, <laughs> he couldn't speak, right? It was his heart was. In, he went, um, you know what? You know when you're. Um, you know when you're uh, in a in a in a taxi, he went no no no, and he got some notes out of his back pocket, <laughs> right? How did you get that wrong? Right, and he looked. He went, um, oh, you know, um, oh no, no, right? <laughs> and then he went sorry, right? And it was silence, right? And then he looked over at the promoter and went, I was meant to go on last. <laughs> right, silence. Right, oh, and God. then he went, oh, and God. then he went, and then he went. Uh, <laughs> if I never do this again, you'll know why. And he got a little, <laughs> it got a real lovely little sympathy yeah. <laughs> like oh, that. Lovely. And he went, I was meant to do five, but I'm going to stop there if that's all right. <laughs> and he went. Thanks, and it's got a round of applause. And he just uh, he came and stood at the back and just stood next to me like that, waiting for the next act. And I did I didn't know. Oh, I hate it. I hate that sort of stuff. I hate. Oh. I can't take. I can't take other people's fear and embarrassment. Do you know what the I mean? One, no. The one it's, I stick in oh. my head was like that. As a guy came up and he just kept going. God, my mouth is so dry. <laughs> I don't think my mouth has ever been this dry. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I know. I can't My mouth stand is so it. dry. I can't and stand kept... nervousness. I don't, I don't. I don't like it at all. Except unless I... it's unless it's Joe talking about himself to us. Two. I don't yeah. like any sort of discomfort or nervousness. I should. I should just uh, um, tell Joe the first time I met David. Um, oh God. He'd sent a tape in. I think. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you about. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was. Uh, it was. Um, uh, Monster Hunter. What was his name? Uh, Graham. Graham. Hunter. Yeah, I think I saw a large otter had muscular legs. I just thought it was great. <laughs> I really liked it. And I think Gittins. I might have seen Gittins on there as well. And I was, and I went, oh yeah, I want to meet this guy. So uh, Ricky, it, yeah, because like, I only know it from my point of view. So I sent it in because I got in touch with Jim Field Smith. Right. Online, I didn't know him, but he had this little website, so I started writing for it. And he said, I'll send this VHS to my agent. Yeah. So I sent it to Duncan. Yeah. And Duncan said that you and Stephen were in there when it... Oh, was maybe. That right? Maybe. Well, I saw it anyway. And right, I said, okay. oh, he's great. I said, he's great. I want to... Uh, yeah, I want to meet this guy. He's great. Right? And then you came round um, to the office. Oh, and you came... Hell. I was waiting for you outside the lift. You came out of the yeah. lift. And I went, oh, hi. I went, hi. I went, pop your shoes off. And he started, on, he started taking his shoes off. And I went, I'm joking. I went, I'm joking. I, I, I had well, don't the... joke, because I'm... <laughs> you, were, you were basically panicking, weren't you? And, and then, yeah. right, and then I think we went for a drink. <laughs> oh, we went for a drink at uh, a uh, place, right? And I was... And I was, he was just staring at me, and I was doing impressions of Brian Gittins and doing his lines. I was staring at you? Yeah, and you went... And I went, uh, you went, this is weird. That I was that I was doing your act. You just suddenly went. This is weird. <laughs> oh. Would you do another sitcom? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm 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 planning to. My, my, uh, most urgently is I cannot wait to get a new stand up out there. I've done I've done Supernature. It's it's recorded. Netflix, have, you, have you finished it? Yeah, have you finished the tour. Yeah, recorded it. At, um. Uh, London Palladium last November. It got out next spring. It seems so old to now to me. Um, and uh, but when you so you'll do stand up before the next thing. Yeah, then. yeah, right. Yeah, I say right. it'd be old uh, when when you're doing jokes about famine and AIDS and Hitler. They're pretty evergreen. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Chilling me, boy. Well, no, I'm I'm, I'm putting in a. a a little uh, Ricky Gervais and Chums doing brand new material next week, and Joe's Joe's on the bill. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. well, he's kept that quiet. Me, Joe, Sean, and Colin Holt. Yeah. <laughs> he's kept that I, quiet. I, I'd invite you, but you're in Devon, so I know there yeah, was absolutely yeah. no chance. Um, I um, found out today, David. Yeah. Yeah, it was only, it was only arranged today. I, you know, Who is it? You, Joe, Colin Holt? Uh, Sean... McLaughlin. So I, I, what, I, what I did with um, what I did with humanity, I go out with like three chums, then two, then one, and by then. Have you got, got anything? Have you got anything? Yeah, I've got some notes. Yeah, I know. I know the because title. I know the title, and I know. What I've I'm never seen about. anyone create material as quick as you. Like when we do those shows, because you literally have not. You you, you you go on with an idea. I go on with you? nothing now. And yeah. within I, on purpose, my first few shows I wrote like an Edinburgh show and went out and, you know, but then it was like, then I was doing smaller theatres and it, the big thing was the DVD for Christmas. Now it's different. Now I just want to, I want to tour it for a year and, you know, make the Netflix special. It, you know, touring for me is more important than the Netflix special nowadays. I, 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 I you know, I, I see the world. I love, I love every process. I love every minute of it. Starting with nothing, going out and thinking I've got nothing to say. I've got nothing to say. You've got to fucking say something. I love that. And then I love it working. And I love it honing it. And I love dropping stuff. I love, I, I really love the process now. Can you, can you imagine doing it, Ricky, if you didn't have the audience and you had to go to Coventry for 50 quid? No. Do you think I, you... No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you be wouldn't. The, I wouldn't be there. I, I don't even, I still don't do the clubs because it doesn't give me what I want. It doesn't tell me what I want. So I still do it to, 200 people who have paid a tenner to see me do new stuff. And I, I make that, I make that part of the night. I say, I've got nothing. It's going to be shit. We'll find something, you know, yeah. you can't do that in a club. You can't do it. And it's, it, you know, and the, it, and also you're sandwiched with two people who've got a, a fiery seven. The first one, he's amazing. He's done that seven minutes for three months. You do your shitty. Is that thing. what? I was that what I meant to do? That's what you're meant to do. No, no, oh, but shit. we're we're all we're all going to try out new stuff and be crap, yeah. and they're going to love it. They're going to love it. And do you think there are any people on the circuit, Joe, who actually enjoy, or do you think they're all hoping to get off it and do something else? I would say, even if people say, uh, you know, like they go, "I'm," I, I, that's what I do. I am a circuit comic. Who would not prefer to be able to play? A theatre of people that have come to see you yeah. rather than turning yeah. up more and more yeah more yeah, and more i've realized what a privilege it is you know particularly we, after the pandemic you know it, it's just like you're right they've paid hard-earned fucking cash they kept their tickets for two years they've had to find a babysitter they come yeah. up there the the fucking love is immense like genuinely mm -hmm. overwhelming like sometimes i have to i say i have to make a joke like shut the fuck up Right, because yeah. I, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, this won't. This this gig will not be like that. <laughs> it will be um, fumbling. All I've got. I've got the title, and I know what it's going to be about. That's all. It's, What's the uh, title? Well, I, I'm not even going to. I tell you, oh, yeah. but I'm not even putting that on the thing because it's. I I've just put new material. Right. You know? Okay. Um, but the, the I think my next title will be Armageddon, and it's all the ways I hope humanity could be wiped out. <laughs> and, I'm, see, and it's all it's, about it's me. a lighter show than usual yeah then. it's all me being gutted that i won't see it i won't see it <laughs> That's so right. yeah 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 cool yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. so it's all cool. about that all the... <laughs> I, I think about those comics who it's sort of in their 50s where their bones are aching and they've still got to go up to a lesson but when you say like traveling what what the thing about the circuit that always baffles me is not like when you when you do your warm up gigs, you you know the theatre, you know what you're walking into, two hundred people, blah blah blah. Yeah. It's going to Coventry and not or wherever, and yeah. not knowing what you're walking into, and no. going right. I've travelled two hours. This is unplayable. Yeah, it's full of lunatics. Do you know what I mean? And you go, yeah. and then you've got to go. My sister was at a wedding the other day, and they don't give a shit. And you go. Oh, for fuck! Yeah, you know, well, I like that. I do. Yeah, I've never that. That would that wouldn't be. It wouldn't be any good to me because I can't do. I can't really. That's not what I'm about. My, uh, you know, a lot of my um, persona is about my success and arrogance. <laughs> so it doesn't. It doesn't work. And if they haven't come to see me, that that loses. You know, fifty percent of the attitude that I'm yeah. arrogant. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And I can just, so. Um, it, it doesn't quite work. It's got to be, you know. Well, it sh I, it, it yeah. shapes people's acts in, yeah. in a way that it shouldn't sometimes. Because, like, oh, if, totally, you, if yeah. you've done, if you, 
if you were doing that attitude in the clubs to begin with and people were just telling you to fuck off, you go, you'd go, that doesn't work. It doesn't and work. You'd shape yeah. It, yeah. And, you, and you'd shape it to survive yeah, rather than yeah. go, this is the funniest. And then you find yourself yeah. five years later, you go, I've got an act that works that's sort of yeah. generic. And well, the you thing go, is, fuck it's, it's, because, it's because I want to be honest. I, I want to be honest. And um, um, we're court jesters. We've got, to, we've got to be low status, right? Now, mm. everyone knows what comedians earn now, and they're in film, so it's hard to do that. So I do it with two ways. One, I let them peek behind the curtain. I go, what, you think it's all fun and games? Being, you know, this is what happened to me at Buckingham Palace or on the private jet. I, you know, I, I show how I lose out or what the press said about me. This is what this reviewer said. So I, sh- I you know, I, I try yeah. and, I, you know, I play that. And I also do it, I talk about things where... I'm much worse off than them. I'm fat and old and going to die. I'm boarding. I've got a bad back. I've, you know what I mean? It, so so yeah. you, still, you still keep that. You try and keep... You try and be the butt of a joke, but part of that is... is uh, I, I need to be honest. I can't go out there and go, oh, I was signing on the other day. No, you, know, no. you fucking liar. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it like when you, you know, you know when you get the bus, the 112, to... Um, no, you fucking haven't been on a bus for four years, you lying cunt. So yeah. I, can't, I can't do yeah. that. I've got a, I've got a joke about my undeserved Hampstead life, if you if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So if if the TV stuff had happened, do you not think you would have carried on with the stand up? I think it would have been a bit of an outlet, and I'd have done. It might, I might have been, but I, might, I probably wouldn't have had the confidence. I probably wouldn't have had the confidence to go out there. Um, I don't, if you know, know what you know. know what you would have done is what most people do is you podcast fight. now. Well, yeah, that, I think I, that, I think I probably would have, if I had something to offer, I think, and I didn't have the nerve to, you know, I, I couldn't get some away, I couldn't get a script away, or I couldn't get gigs that kept the. I think I would be doing a podcast. And uh, do you know but, what helped me genuinely what? in the first three, four, five years is I, like I would die a lot, but you like you supported me, so I would always have like there'd be certain people and pe- and comedians mm. on the circuit. I go, oh, fuck you, like, that. like he likes me and she yeah. likes me, and that's fine. Yeah. So it'd be that. Sort of I never, I'll be honest, I never did. <laughs> no, I know. And uh, <laughs> I've, got no, I've got no comeback. I know, <laughs> I, honestly, I've loved every, I think I've loved every character that you've come up with or that, that we've come up with, like Kev or, you know, I think I've loved everything. And Joe, I think Joe, I, th- I think you two make my life easier because you've come ready made. I don't have to do much. I just have to write some of the words and give you the storyline. And, um, and, uh, and that's the best thing about Afterlife, I think, is that because I've been around for like 20 years, I was casting before I was writing. I knew who could do these things. So that's 50, but that made my job 50% easier. I wasn't, you know? Yeah. It's a massive gamble, isn't it, when you've got a car? You don't know who you... You don't know, who you don't know if they're reliable, you don't know if they're going to like it, you don't know if they can do it. Because everyone comes camera-ready to an audition, they, they've learned the words, they've bothered. Whereas you get them, it could be, it could be uh, you know, a huge mistake. Uh, um, what, you mean a different experience when they get on set? Oh, yeah, you know, you never know, you know, uh, and uh, I mean, it depends what you're doing. I mean, I, 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 like, I like casting actors who are also comedians because they I, they give me something else they're thinking as well they're thinking and oh you know good actors do that as well but if i want to do a little bit of improv or you know uh that, that there's a bit they haven't got um they're not as restricted i think as some actors and they think yeah. they think differently i think they think differently yeah. You know, yeah. Like, when you yeah. cast me for Derek, I'm, I absolutely shat myself, and then I was worried about it for about a month. And I don't know if you remember, but then I got really ill the night in the hotel. In the oh, hotel, really? it was horrendous, and I couldn't film. So I've been building it up in my head for like weeks, and you know, you Might just been stress. Well, no, See, it was I, that virus thing, wasn't it? I, for, it was I, coming I, out of both ends. I forget that. I, and that that's weird. It's still weird to me that the people are nervous to meet me because I think I'm the least intimidating person in the world. But then, cause I don't know they're nervous. I make a joke 
and that they must think like take your shoes off that <laughs> that wasn't me doing a power play I no, didn't think I had you know what I mean <laughs> so I make it it was, a hell, of a, it was a hell of a power play for Mon it was incredible <laughs> I know that's me being a fucking idiot with my mates and it's like yeah. something yeah I can see why I can see why yeah. Fuck me, he means it. He means it. That's amazing. Well, take your shoes off in the lift. I mean, looking yeah. back, <laughs> terrible decision. You look great, yeah. by the way, Joe. You look fucking great. <laughs> yeah, you do look hot. Yeah. Much do cheers, Ricky. Want, do what you want with that. All right, yeah. I'll, yeah. Let, yeah let, uh, I'll see you next week. What are you having for supper? Just to close the... Something vegan, boy. Um, get that down to a, the, the best 50 minutes that you guys have ever been a part of. 15 minutes? Yeah. See yeah. you later. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Cheers.